Lucas Media, Steve Stout has some things to say about Dame and Dash. Let me play him and get my thoughts about him. Fair you, shout out to Club Shay Shay. Make sure y'all check out his channel. Almost, almost not. He blew it. He had Jay Z. He had the most important artist of his so, generation. So, so what happened with that relationship? How did that relationship that was so good sour so fast? Now, for my audience that's, that's in a thirties and up, y'all remember at one point Rockefeller man, they was everybody wanted to be part of the rock. Athletes was us uh, uh, doing dunks, throwing up the diamond sign. Everybody wanted to be affiliated with Rock Rockefeller. You had Dame Biggs, who was quiet at the time. And Jay-Z, and it was, they had everything. They had the clothes. They had paid in full movies. They put Kevin Hart on. You know, you wanted to be part of The Rock. The Rock might have been the most important record label of the, the, the 90s. Yeah, Bad Boy was up there, but it wasn't like The Rock. I'm sorry, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But this is what Steve decided to say about what caused him to break up. antics were just it became like people also over time you mature right. it's like you, you didn't have friends at 16 but by the time you turned 19 they were still doing the same shit right. he was 16 right. and right. you're like right. I, I can't like, yeah, we gotta I, I gotta, I, yeah we gotta you know I, you start spending less and less time with them because right. of it it's like one of those things where Dame Dame wouldn't change the way he spoke to people the way he treated people let me pause it right there dame has always been known for being a um a jerk a great businessman somebody who you know uh tried to help his artists out but it was the way he would go off on people and go back and watch the original backstage where he was going off on um kevin lyles now was kevin lyles them wrong for trying to make it seem like it was a def jam tour when it was a rockefeller tour yeah but it was just the way he was going at Dame, um, Kevin Lyles. And what he's saying, like he going to grow, they wasn't the same. You know, when Jay them, so when Jay them started Rockefeller in 96, they were in their 20s. And then by the time they sold in, what, 05? They were in their 30, mid 30s. And, you know, Jay was trying to grow. Jay was talking about, uh, he started Club, what's the 4040 Club? And, he had his own sneaker line and um remember remember i thought it was weird back then when jay had reebok and um damon dash had a uh, what was that shoe company y'all man i'm finna i, I didn't forgot the name pro kids that's what it's called it's called pro kids but at the time i was young i didn't understand it i'm like how come you know they're not collaborating and having like a rockefeller shoe or whatever but steve south letting you know what happened but let me finish playing what he said his, he was angry about what, bro? You getting paper? He was angry because he had a strong perspective about his business philosophy, and if any time a partner of theirs tried to like go around him, or um, meanwhile people weren't going around him, the people around him wanted to meet with other people. Okay. They, they, People wanted more becoming less beholden to him. Now, I think what he's talking about, and y'all give an example, go watch Chokey No Joke when Dame Dash, when he screamed at Def Jam for doing a marketing meeting about Jay-Z, but nobody from Rockefeller was there. But what people didn't realize was Jay-Z manager was in there. So clearly, Jay knew about it. And, you know... As somebody who started a company with somebody, I could understand both sides, but I think it's just the way that Dame goes off on people. Master P said this a long time ago, corporate, the corporate industry is, is rougher than the streets, you know, but it's, it's a certain way you got to go about it, or you can do it your way. But then when you turn people off and you don't get the manufacturing and the things like that, you know, it comes with it. So it's still politics when it comes to business. But let me finish what Steve Stout had to say. But he was unaware of it. Then he would like, you know, while he was building businesses, which probably he was, he would go off all around the world with cameras and girls and all kinds of crazy shit and then come back flipping out on everybody as if, you know. They were wrong. Yeah. Or, or 
Like, why'd you guys do all this shit without me? Like, bro, you didn't build a business that was so operationally tight that you could just go away and come back and right. shit and be the same and all that shit. It was. Now, y'all remember when, uh, I'm going to stop it right there. Remember when Dane was on MTV Cribs back in the day? He had that villa in London or whatever, and uh, Kanye was on there. This before Kanye really blew up. Dame is a brilliant man, genius. He put Kanye on. I mean, him and Jay came together. He put Cam on the rock. Br brilliant, brilliant man. I, if if I could be any person in business, especially back in the day because I can't rap, I wanted to be like Damon Dash. So when Rockefeller broke up, it crushed me. Now I was only like 18, so I didn't understand what happened. But people grow apart. You know what I mean? Me and my cousin had a business together and on YouTube and we grew apart. And now he's doing his own thing on YouTube. I got Lucas Media on YouTube. So things like that happen. Like people are going to grow in different directions. And they all got like $10 million in stock off of it. So, you know, I think I think we all wish they could have been together. But what business really lasts together? Birdman and Slim are together, but they brothers. Um, I guess what's that label? QC. I guess all them still together. But most of the time, companies break up, bands break up, um, relationships break up. You know, look how many people that was dating twenty years ago, high school, college. How many people you think still together now? People grow apart and they go in different directions. So. I don't know. I mean, in a, in a way, I, I wish they could have stayed together. Like I said, everybody wanted to be a part of the rock in some way, but it just didn't happen like that. But, you know, but both of them are still one percenters and they're going to be straight the rest of it. The, they're not going to never have regular jobs like us. You know what I mean? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What do y'all think?